Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video and today in this video I am going to explain the Karma Seal in Boruto Naruto Next Generation I am going to explain the Karma Seal generally Not like the Kawaki Karma Seal, the Jigen Karma uh, uh, Seal and the Boruto's Karma Seal I ain't going to explain their powers but if you want me to do that let me know in the comment section And also can we get 10 likes on this video, smash the like button right now If you're new around here make sure you subscribe subscribe turn the bell notification on because you never miss a video also follow my social media that is twitter and my instagram link in the description as always and also join my discord link in the description as always and let's get straight on the video karma is a seal that serves as a compressed backup on a osuski clan member biologically data that like they can Embedded in their body uh, of a chosen vessel, transforming into them. For the Asuski will, should they sustain fatal injuries. Over time, the comma overwrite the vessel genetic profile until their body transforms into that of a perfect reincarnation of their Asuski template, at which point the comma disappears and the Suski can take over their body and resurrect. In the interim, the vessel can learn to activate the comma and utilize a portion of the Suski's power and the Suski's will to manifest and take over control over their body. Imparting a comma onto a Kintia vessel requires a huge amount of energy to do so. Once the comma is applied its pro progress of spreading the biologically data into vessel and final resurrection intervals ultimately in which not the when a Ususki resurrect the function of a duplicate comma means they're vulnerable to a permanent death unless they can apple another comma especially if forced by circumstances to resurrect in imperfect vessel comma can only absorb chakra wilders is vulnerable to non comma can only absorb chakra based substance hence the wilder is vulnerable to non chakra matter and energy such as viruses and natural Flames. When activated, Karma significantly enhances the user physical abilities and the power of their jutsu and can absorb chakra and chakra based attacks, likely ninjutsu. Karma can also be used as a medium for space time ninjutsu, opening ribs to any location, including four regions dimensions at will. Under cer certain circumstances, the Susi can manage manifest their will to possess the body of their vessel causing the markings to change shape and the surroundings portion of their body to transform undergoing changes that may include protoding the Suski signature horns and even activating their do jutsu. Over time, the vessel's own genetic information will be completely overwritten by the Suski biological data, as a lot amount in the karma, at which point the karma will disappear and the Suski will resurrect, taking over their vessel and erasing their personality. This is the true purpose of the karma and allows the Suski to trance and death even if the vessel body dies and is severely damaged so long as it exists and still bears karma it will remain viable for the Suski to resurrect through in which any way damage has suffered which will be Heal. That is it. This is how this is all the information we got explained by Karma and is the final information because it got officially explained by Amado in chapter 47, I think. Yeah, chapter 47 or chapter 46. Got a complete explanation of the Karma in Boruto Naruto Next Generation. If you want me to do separate videos of different Karma abilities in different people, let me know in the comments section right now and also come and get 10 likes on the video and also can you subscribe turn the bell notification on because you never miss a video and thank you for watching please subscribe and see you in the next video peace out guys